Star Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Greetings and salutations. It is Saturday. It's not October. It's November 8th. Oh my lord. And BlizzCon yesterday was very exciting. I can't wait to talk about it tomorrow, for those of you who don't know what's going on. Um, and if you don't, really just, like, look at the internet. Um, but I will talk more about everything that I'm excited about tomorrow during my vlog. Um, anyway, I promised you that today we would do some fishing. So, first things first, it's gonna have to be daytime. Because it's scary. Alright, so, we have our fishing rod. I'm going to just move all of this. I'll leave the food there. Alright, just make sure there's nothing in here. Alright, so, there are lots of different things you can fish up now. How are my chickens? Oh, they look pretty good. Okay, we'll deal with those guys later. Alright, so there's water. So we're going to go hang out by the water. Hello, cow. Oh, and there's sheep. Oh, oh, there's a creeper. Excellent. Okay, I wanted, I wanted to get blown up today. Absolutely. God, that face is so freaky. Okay, so this is how fishing works. You're gonna right take your fishing rod, which I showed you how to make. Um, it is three sticks from the bottom left to the top right of the crafting nine by of the three by three crafting window, and then on the last two slide last two spots on the right. Um, you're going to put two pieces of a piece of string. So you're going to right click on the water. And you're going to just wait. And you can see kind of like the water bubbles and that's all the fish. And then eventually, hopefully, they will get close to the... There's, see, there's one. And you right click. And we got a fish. So we got a raw, just regular raw fish. You can pick up lots of stuff while fishing. Now, fish you can cook and then they will give you food which is always a good time and I don't know what the max cast time is for this but it's not it works kind of like wild fishing you can't really you just have to wait I don't think you can ever not get any yeah, you just wait I'm just I'm just trying to get some other fish because there's lots of things you can fish up you can fish up um, empty bottles I believe which is good because some of these fish are good for, I think, I know the puffer fish you can use for potions. Hmm. All the water bubbles. There we go. And so you just do this. Over and over and over and over again. And then if you go early, nothing happens. So yeah. This is fishing. It's actually kind of soothing. Except, where did that creeper go? I'm a little terrified. I should have been watching him. Oh well. Alright, come on. There we go. Okay, so we got a raw salmon. So, we'll do this a few more times and try and get the other fish. I'd like to try and get a uh, puffer fish. So what I might do is I might just fish and then cut it out until I get like one of everything or something.
Okay, so I couldn't get very many, um, and I checked the spawn rates, and the percentages are kind of ridiculous. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to explain to you briefly how to get all of them. So, there are four fish that you can fish up. There's the basic raw fish that we have here, and those can be eaten. Um, there is the salmon here, which can be eaten, and they can also be used um, to tame the ocelots. You can't just use regular fish. You have to use the salmon to tame and slash breed ocelots. Um, so there's that. There is the clownfish, which is meant to be eaten. Um, you don't cook it. You just eat it. It's just... Oh, sorry. Clownfish can be used to tame... Okay, apparently I'm crazy. Okay, hold up. I'm crazy, apparently. So, yes, okay, so sorry, I lied. All of the fish can be used to tame ocelots. Don't listen to me. Um, so the raw fish can also be cooked and eaten. The raw salmon can be cooked and eaten. The clownfish does not be cooked, but cannot be cooked, but you can eat it. Um, and the puffer fish, you can eat it. Um, but it will give you uh, various issues because it's not a safe fish to eat raw, um, just like in real life. So it gives you like nausea, um, hungerization poison, and regular poison. Um, and then puffer fish are mainly used as an ingredient to make a potion of water breathing. Um, the other things you can use, fish up. You can fish up, a, uh, the percentages here are pretty low. Um, not as low as the clownfish for some of them, but so percentage wise, you've got a 60% chance to get a regular fish, a 25% chance to get a salmon, a 13% chance to get a puffer fish, and a 2% chance to get a clownfish. Um, so other things you can fish up, you can fish up a bow, you can fish up an enchanted book, which you use to, <laughs> um, oh, lets you put enchantments. You can put the enchantments on the book and then you put the, you, then you can use the book later, um, and they're single use. Um, it's the only way to obtain certain enchantments on enchanted books is when you find them because you cannot get them unless you're in creative. So if you're playing survival, enchanted books are pretty awesome. Um, you can find them in chests and the like. Uh, fishing rods, you can fish up. You can fish up name tags, which is how you can name mobs. So you can name one of your chickens, you can name your wolf, um, I think. I'm going to double check what you can name. You can name, you can fish up a saddle You can for horses and pigs. You can fish up a lily pad, you can fish up, and those are like the treasures, but you can also fish up junk. Um, a completely used up fishing rod, um, a bowl, piece of leather, leather boots, and these guys are like almost completely used up if they're items. Um, rotten flesh, which you get from zombies, a stick, string, a water bottle, which is you use for potions, um, and it's not like an actual like water bottle, it's like a glass bottle that has water in it that you use for potions. Um, a bone, which you use, can turn into bone meal, um, and then uh, an ink sack. You can get you get them in stacks of ten. It looks like, and then a tripwire hook. And I don't know much about tripwire hooks, so okay. So it says here um, that if you get a bow or a fishing rod, if they are in the enchanted in the treasure category, they'll be enchanted but slightly damaged. Um, are they in? If they are in the junk category, things that have durability in the junk category will not be enchanted, and they will be damaged. So they're not that great. Um. And name tags, you can name, oh, you can name mobs. So, what can you name? Uh huh. You can name mobs, so you can name anything except the Ender Dragon and players. So, interesting. That's kind of cool. Okay, so. I'm going to keep these salmon because eventually I would like to get an ocelot or two, so we'll put those in there. We will cook the fish, but yeah, that's basically how you fish here. Um, at some point I'm going to go have to go back, I'm going to have to go back to the nether, maybe we'll go back to the fortress at some point when I'm being less of a wuss. Oh, I see eggs. Okay, I need seeds. We're going to breed our chickens again. And um, when next we do this, we will create, whoa, chicken, chicken, brood, chicken, brood. Chicken, what the heck? How did you get out? I glitched, it looks like. Come along, chicken. 
Alright, hold on. Checking. Yay, baby. Another baby chicken. Alright. So, yeah. That's how that works. So, yeah. Maybe tomorrow we'll do a couple other farms of pigs and sheep and cows now that I know that we have a bunch nearby. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. I gotta go because I gotta go watch the rest of BlizzCon. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.